Hi, I'm Peter Knight, one of the Band Lynch coaches here at Yarra Bend Golf Course. In today's The Week in Golf lesson, we're going to talk about how you think about things or not think about things. Have you ever played a shot, hit it, a poor shot, and just thought to yourself, I knew I was going to do that? It's actually, it's really common. Now, the reason why you probably think that is that you've created a mental representation of the exact shot that you didn't want to hit prior to hitting it. And then what you've done is you've executed according to that plan. You may not have wanted that, but you've actually executed perfectly according to that plan. Given that you're going to be thinking about something, rather than thinking, you know, I don't want to, whatever, dot, 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 hit it in the hazard, hit it out of bounds, hit it in the bunker, think about what you do want to do. Now, part of your shot preparation is considering where you don't want to hit the ball, but then you need to consider what do you want to do instead of that. I want to hit it on this part of the green. I want to hit it on this part of the fairway. I want the ball to fly with this trajectory. And then create the representation of that mentally. So you're picturing the shot, you're getting a feel for the shot that you're going to play with a practice swing or even just imagining that you're doing it and then work to that. So rather than thinking don'ts, I don't want to do this, I want to avoid this, go with what you want. As a gamesmanship thing, a, 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 a competitor, fellow competitor might say, oh look, did you see the hazard over there? Don't hit it in there. And then how often do you actually do that? Your attention's drawn to it. And often the result is either you go bang straight into the point, place that you didn't want to go, or you make such a move to avoid that, you hit a shot wildly in the opposite direction. So the message there is whatever messages that are coming in, whether they're from friendly competitors, or not, make sure that you're clear on exactly what the outcome is that you want for your shot, for your putt, for your drive, for any shot at all, and then execute according to what you want. And you'll find that that will actually keep you much more on track with your thinking on the golf course.